So let's just start with James Gunn's Superman rumors. So you guys know how much we love rumors and talking about James Gunn and whether or not he's lying. So let's talk about the budget, the Superman budget. It's rumored that's going to be super massive and that's going to be like 350 to 500 million dollars, which automatically James Gunn was like, no, complete lie. Definitely not true. Well, turns out he's a liar, like normal in that. Uh, that actually does seem like it actually is true. Yeah, basically, Ohio had to put up their tax documents, and we initially thought that it was an indicator that the budget was going to be super low because that was kind of what was circulating. It turns out it's because only a quarter of it was shot in Cincinnati, and so that when you extrapolate the like 11 million tax incentive they're getting, that in actual fact it does look like that this budget is going to be nearly 300 or more million dollars. Allegedly, I should say that for legal purposes. And so somebody's lying. So either Warner Brothers is lying and they're trying to like, you know, exploit a little bit of, you know, tax loopholes to increase the valuation of this thing yeah. or James Gunn's lying. Or what would maybe be true to form is when people said, is the budget 395 million? He goes, that's absolutely ludicrous. It's, it's 380, which, would be, <laughs> which we see a lot from, especially from Warner Brothers and James Gunn. If some minuscule detail is not true, He'll completely say, oh, so that's bullshit. That's just not true. And then look you straight in the eye and deliver the product that you knew it was sans that one thing that he felt was worth denying the effect. Yes, because it seems like there's always that one loophole, whether it's like, oh, a, a number too high or number too low. That he's like, okay, well, that's just ridiculous. No, that, that couldn't be true. Where would you get that? Which is also how it also seems like he's lying because he's... He, instead of saying like, no, of course, that's like way too high budget. He was like, well, where would they get these numbers? Who Who's leaking yeah, these it numbers? Was more, it was more the fact of like, like why tons. would they know our numbers? numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Not like, are the numbers true? And I think the, the interesting, the reason we want to talk to you guys about what's going on with the Superman legacy, now known as just Superman, is because it feels like something is not above board. It feels like a lot of people are going to be disappointed and you hear all these different machinations going on, but it does feel like it's going to be fans that are going to be the ones to get shafted because nothing coming out of Warner Brothers about this film makes sense. And so one day they're saying that it's going to be a Superman film. Now it's coming out that it's going to be an ensemble film, but don't worry, these characters aren't going to be um, just cameos. They're going to be fully developed, which tells you it's probably not going to be that much of a Superman film. And with all these rumors, there has been an alleged plot leak. And they're saying that the story for Superman now is going to be very similar to Batman vs. Superman. Which, of course, James Gunn came out and said, that's just not true. But the leaks are pretty convincing. The leaks are that you're going to have Lex Luthor actively turning the world against Superman. And that members of the, I guess, newly formed Justice League are going to be going out of their way to try and, you know, stop Superman. And so it's going to be a Superman vilification story, which is pretty spot on. And it's pretty similar to Batman versus Superman. Yeah, I was saying, <laughs> does, it, does it sound similar? Does it sound familiar? Because I'm pretty sure we've already watched this movie, which, of course, already James Gunn has said no. That's, but you guys, how much do you believe him anymore? Because I feel like he consistently lies. And if any single part of that statement is off, then he's going to say, no, it's not true. Because for all we know, it could be that you're saying one of the wrong characters he's going to mm -hmm. fight, or you're actually missing someone. I don't even think it's lying. I think James Gunn was told to go by Warner Brothers, was told to go out there and tell everybody what they want to hear. And this is why I'm so fascinated by this, other than being a huge uh, Superman fan. I don't believe that there is an earnest attempt to make a good Superman film, let alone an expanded DCU. I don't yeah. think... There will be a DCU. I think that we might get a couple films. I think that what we are witnessing is the worst example of when corporate interests usurp fan properties and use them to increase their valuation ahead of a sale. I think the bringing of James Gunn, I think the constant rumors, especially from the Access Meeting, uh, Access Media, always just trying to build up hype for this film are a direct result in planned strategy by Warner Brothers to make whoever buys this company think that they are competing against Warner Brothers' new billion-dollar franchise. 
that they don't really want to sell because you know James Gunn is going to make this 300 400 million dollar film that's going to kick off the biggest franchise of all time and so it all seems like a company trying to leverage fan interest and overhype expectations in order to seem stronger in their upcoming negotiations which we're going to find out soon we we could be completely wrong let me know if you guys think I'm completely off base with this because Come April, we're going to find out whether or not they are actively shopping this company because that's when they can start taking bids or start taking offers. Mm -hmm. But now, even more to that, like they're hundred percent shopping this company because they haven't changed their minds. They haven't published anything to say, oh, we retract our statement. We're no longer going to be taking bids in April. They're actively trying to sell Warner Brothers. And on top of that, I feel like that's why they're spending so much money on this film. Allegedly. Allegedly, I should say that for legal purposes. That doesn't mean that they spent this money. That just says that what's or, been budgeted. Yeah. We don't know. That's the yeah. thing. There is nothing concrete about this film. At this point, if this film comes out and it's the most expensive superhero film in history, I wouldn't be surprised. If it comes out that it's the cheapest superhero hero film in the history of superhero films, I also wouldn't be surprised. And sadly, neither one of those would alleviate my fears that this is a tool to get Warner Brothers a little bit more money on a potential sale.